Trend three. Trend three, I uh, think, is one of the most interesting and maybe most counterintuitive trends, and that is the uh, government enforcement litigation programs that employers face. Uh, and we're looking about lawsuits brought by either the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, which has authority to police the workplace in terms of employment discrimination statutes, or the Department of Labor that can bring wage and hour and ERISA cases. And despite the existence of a proclaimed business-friendly White House and a president that wants to uh, increase hiring, increase employment, grow um, uh, our economy, his EEOC brought more cases uh, fourfold as compared to the last year of the Obama administration. If nothing else, the EEOC is still an aggressive activist agency filing a multitude of lawsuits, uh, so much so that employers have to take into account uh, the risks of doing business in terms of EEOC and Department of Labor investigations. I've always told clients that defending uh, a lawsuit brought by the EEOC is not unlike holding a tiger by the tail. It's a very, very difficult proposition when the full weight of the United States government comes down on an employer with an unlimited budget to do what it wants to be able to shake that company upside down and try to expose any alleged discriminatory practices and tend to be very, very difficult lawsuits to defend given that the government sues in the public interest and the monetary awards that a private plaintiff's attorney might be interested in to view that as an economic proposition fall by the wayside when dealing with government enforcement lawyers who are litigating uh, in the public interest. So I, I think I've been asked at various times, why is this happening? And why, with a business-friendly president, um, why would these government agencies be more active? And I think there are a multitude of explanations for it. But one of the reasons is uh, there are many, many things going on in Washington, D.C. And who is running the Department of Labor, the EEOC, and their uh, complement of leadership probably is not as high on the agenda as other issues. And so what occurred in 2018, insofar as the EEOC was concerned, is the president nominated new leadership, nominated a new uh, general counsel. Presumably, they had a more business-friendly mindset or a mindset not aligned with the way the Obama EEOC had litigated or enforced the law but the Senate never passed upon and never voted on those nominees and they expired. So the EEOC leadership has been running at less than a full complement. And as a result, career uh, government enforcement lawyers in the field, unchecked, unrestrained, having the ability to do what they want to do without contrary instructions from Washington, D.C., filed more lawsuits in 2018 than had been filed during the last year or all the years of the Obama administration. So a very ironic, somewhat counterintuitive uh, view of what government enforcement litigation is all about and what occurred. Uh, next slide, please. On slide 25, uh, we dissected, as we do every year, each of the lawsuits filed by the EEOC. And what you would see is that basically most corporations are apt to be sued for one of two things, either gender discrimination or disability discrimination, by and large, compose the docket brought by the EEOC. But probably not unlike uh, college students have discovered in speeding through Florida towns on the way to Fort Lauderdale for summer vacation, there somewhat looks to be like a quota system whereby a high majority of the cases are filed in the last month of the fiscal year. 45 cases were filed by the EEOC on the last day of its fiscal year. In 84, a high majority of its lawsuits were filed in the last month. Um, it has been publicly uh, expressed that there is no quota, uh, that people don't look at those numbers, but year after year, and, and certainly in 2018, we saw a high majority filed uh, in the last month, if not the last uh, day.
So a very interesting kind of inside view in terms of what's been going on with the, the government.